Aries. Today's reading is going to be a little bit different to what we've done so far. So let's see what messages and cards come out for Aries. What do Aries need to know? Ooh, a lot by the looks of it. Okay, first three cards out, all in reverse. We've got the Four of Wands in reverse, the Hermit in reverse, and the Seven of Wands in reverse. Okay. So we'll start with the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands can definitely be a card of marriage, celebration, family, stability. Fours are usually about stability. So with it in reverse, you might be feeling or have had something shake your stability at the moment. Let's see. Hermit in reverse. The Hermit in reverse is a sign, though, that you're actually coming out of isolation. You've done the work. You've been doing some soul searching and now it's time to come out. So possibly you could have even been through a separation that put you into hermit mode and now it's time to get back out into the world and start following your hopes and dreams again. We've then got the seven of wands in reverse. So the seven of wands is usually how we approach our struggles. Now with this card in reverse, I feel like possibly the seven of wands can also be about boundaries and standing your ground. So I feel like whatever you've been through, you've now learnt what your boundaries are. You've now learnt where you will draw a line in the sand. And where you're going to pull people up this guy in particular has tattoos all over his body which indicates to me you've been through it you've had a lot of experiences that have made you who you are and if you notice if you just look at his head he's like a businessman and you have no idea of what's gone on in his past but then if you look at his body he's got a massive story to tell so I feel like people may not realise when they first meet you everything that you've been through and the wisdom and knowledge that you've learnt over, the, over time from your lessons. Let's see what else we've got for Aries. Aries. We've got the King of Wands and the Page of Cups. Oh, that one didn't jump all the way up, so we won't take that one. And the King of Cups in reverse. So with this King of Wands, we've got a feminine. And she has got fire pouring out of her wand. And she's dressed in bright red. This girl, you can see a mile away. She shines. Masculine or feminine. So it is a king. So it could be male or female. But the person is predominantly in their divine feminine energy. Because she's a female king on this card. So she's passionate. She's inspired. And I think whether or not she wants to be seen, everybody can see her. She stands out. We've then got the Page of Cups. This Page of Cups shows a girl and a fish staring into each other's eyes, somehow finding a connection. And there's peace. I feel like you've finally got your inner peace back after whatever this situation was in the past that sent you into hermit mode, who made you go and do all that soul searching 
and you've now come back standing in your power more than ever and you have a peace within you at the exact same time. And then we've got the King of Cups in reverse. So the King of Cups in reverse, so this could no doubt be the person in the past that you dealt with. They're still not in touch with their emotions. His stomach is full of sharks. And with it in reverse, he's refusing to see and deal with those emotions. You can see he's holding a boat, um, a sailing boat at the top and it all looks peaceful and fine but below his hand there is nothing but sharks so I feel like you've probably had to give yourself closure in a situation if it is in regards to a person from your past let's just get one more on that king of cups give us a little bit more on that king of cups or two we've got a page of pentacles sideways let's put that one down and the High Priestess sideways. The High Priestess is very intuitive. And if you have a look on the bottom of her card, the ship is there that he holds in his hand, that King of Cups. I feel like you've got a energetic connection to this person still and you can feel them and probably where they are and how uncomfortable they are at the moment with this page of pentacles she's got the watering can on her back i feel like you gave and gave and gave and gave to this situation and even though it possibly hasn't been successful as a relationship it has been extremely important in your growth you have learned and grown so much from this situation and i can just see the dragonfly on the flower of the page of pentacles i feel like magical things are ahead for you but you can actually still feel the energetic connection to that person from the past and um they're still struggling with their demons to say the least Let's grab an oracle card. For Aries. Aries. Oop, that was quick. To be fair. Card 38. I'll read this one from the book. Life offers experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nourishing, yet over time they strike a balance. You move from being from stasis to doing, from discovering to loving, to letting go to being again. Life is a pendulum swinging between all of these states. You will always oscillate back and forth between doing and being. If you are not content with where you are at this moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment and you will see how the universe adjusts in perfect balance. You reap what you sow. For every cause, there is an effect. Wondrous things will be revealed now. Relationship message. Can you find a way to achieve fairness right now? This is a time for listening as well as speaking, for understanding as well as asking to be understood. There is much to be learned and you will learn if you remain open and objective, weighing options and considering all sides. Your heart wants to connect to others, so allow for a balanced exchange of ideas and actions. The best kind of relationship is one in which there is mutual, mutual benefit and each party feels heard, valued and respected. Be fair to all. Prosperity message. Now is a time for even exchanges. Justice will prevail and you will be treated accordingly. In all your affairs, you will be able to negotiate fair settlements. Mutual gain is the gift to you and your partners and colleagues. This is also a good time to square your finances 
and take stock of how you're compensated for your work. This card signifies balance, justice and negotiations. So remember that all things must be fairly recomp recompensed. Keep this as your truth and so it will be. That's what I have for you, Aries. I hope something resonates in this reading for you.